to everybody, this is Elizabeth from Fiat de la Spada and this is going to be a short video about dueling games. Long story short, last week we got to hold a workshop on Bolognese Sidesword at the Gathering 2023 in Munich, which is uh, Germany's biggest HEMA event so far. And I originally intended to end the workshop with um, a few fun dueling games. But unfortunately I had time only to show, uh, to show them one out of 3.5 that I prepared. So this video is going to explain them. I'm constantly looking for new inputs and new stuff that I can somehow implement into my training to make it more interesting, to make it better, to make it fun. And when I discovered these games I was quite enthusiastic and so far the feedback in uh, in my club has been only positive except that they can be pretty exhausting. These games were originally intended to be for a martial artists with a main focus on wrestling but since they go a lot into you know they, they train things that basically all martial artists and also fencers need like uh, you know velocity, um, velocity balance, strength uh, reaction time and all those kinds of stuff. Oh, and core strength is in it too. So the first game is mainly about balance, and it's also a lot about stability in your ankle and your knee. The other ones go more into the strength and core tension direction. What your students can try out in a very playful way within these games is feints. In all of these games it's very useful or it helps a lot if you, if you start to feint attacks rather than just attacking the whole time. So yeah, I hope you have fun with it and uh, if you want to know something further about it, just let me know in the comments. If not, see you after the video. If there are lines in the gym on your floor, pick one, wear gloves and then you stand on that line both on one leg and you're supposed to bring your partner out of balance. And you're doing that by slapping each other's hand. If your foot leaves the line or if you fall, you lose. And don't forget to switch leg. Also, it's maybe not the best game to play in a kids group because it can escalate pretty quickly just in case you intended to do that. But fortunately, there's a second version where there's no slapping involved. So for version two, you're basically doing the exact same thing, but you can put the gloves away now because you're allowed now to grab your partner's wrist or hand and to push and to pull him off the line. For the second one, both of you need to do a plank in front of each other. Now you're supposed to win by putting your hand on the back of your partner's hand. Make sure to not bang your heads into each other and also make sure that you lay the hand firmly on the hand of your partner and not just to tap. The third game is called the clock and a ring or something to mark the spot where your feet should stay comes in handy. Both of you need to do a plank again, but feet stay in the ring and then you're supposed to move around the ring and you win by touching your partner's sides. Again, if you fall, you lose or if your partner touches your torso or the side of your torso, you lose. This one is probably the most exhausting game out of the three, but also it's super fun, you will see. These are all the games I had prepared for you. I hope there was something in it for you and maybe you will try them out next time in training. Hope to see you in the next one and until then have fun. <laughs>